welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be talking to you about wool coats. I'm going to be styling a few coats in some fun ways and hopefully by the end I'll have convinced you that you need to get a couple of nice long woolen coats for your wardrobe. So let's get started. Okay, so moving on to the coats that we're going to be working with today. Now these are all 100% wool coats. They're all long coats. There's no jackets here. And they're all pretty kind of dressy coats. They're not super casual. But what I want to show you is how versatile and practical these kind of coats are and convince you to get some. Okay, so the first one we're going to work with is this vintage one. It's by Arlette. It was made in the USA, and this is a herringbone tweed coat in gray. It is a single breasted coat with it's almost like a Peter Pan collar little um, sort of trenchy style uh, bands at the wrists and also a an attached self belt at the back. This coat has um, you know, po side pockets. So, so that's one. The second coat we're going to be working with is one of my own coats. This is a fantastic camel coat. It ma was made in Italy. It's by Capri which I don't know that brand. I think this is from the probably early 90s. It has this low slung suit styling, very reminiscent of Giorgio Armani in his, uh, when he sort of reinvented suits for women, they were like, uh, they buttoned really low. And this coat does that too, it buttons down here. But this is beautiful, um, this beautiful camel colored wool and um, camel is really a classy, rich looking, basic color. I, I think you can't go wrong with a camel coat. So this coat is, it's not really double, it's kind of double breasted, but in that style, like there's only two buttons here. Normally double breasted, you'd have a couple of rows of buttons at least. And it's got a pretty minimal collar, but a, a, quite a, a bit of lapel. So there's subtle differences from coat to coat even though they're just long wool coats. The third coat we have is what's known as a Chesterfield coat. This is a black coat and it is double breasted. So you can see it has, I think, three, three rows of buttons um, and, and it has a belt in the back. No bands at the cuffs, just two buttons at the end of each cuff. But what makes this a Chesterfield, I believe, is that it has vel a velvet collar. Sometimes they have other velvet details. And this kind of harks back to an equestrian style, a little bit of a military style, and this is a super, super classic coat. This is a really beautiful wool coat too. It's vintage as well. Um, and it's by Karen. So that's coat number three. Our, we have two more coats. Okay, so the next one is a gray. It's just a plain gray coat. I can feel this one's a little bit more lightweight than these two, but it's still 100% wool coat in this really beautiful medium dark gray. It's got a little bit of a blue un blue uh, vibe, blue undertone to it. This one has a collar that you can kind of roll down or up, depending on where you like. You if you want, you can wear this open as a shawl collar, or you can button it up at the neck there. This one also double breasted with just two rows of pockets and it does have bands at the end of the sleeves. It has pockets as well. Yes, any coat worth its salt has pockets, right? So beautiful gray coat. That's coat number four. Coat number five is going to be sort of our playful coat. This isn't going to be everybody's taste. It's a color lover's coat, but it is again a blue, a uh, teal blue, gorgeous color and actually quite in for this year's. Uh, it's, there was a lot of blue on the runways this year. So this one is by Pavilion. It's another double breasted, kind of a low open, open space here at the neck, but not many other details. Nothing happening on the back, nothing happening at the end of the sleeves. So this is just gonna be a fun coat to dress up with some color. And what we're gonna do next is, um, I'm going to show you how versatile these coats are by styling them for different occasions. So for my first outfit, I'm using my K 
camel coat and I created a casual errand day outfit. This is something you could wear outside on a really cold day. You could be doing your errands, you could be meeting people for brunch. I've got some mittens, I've got a big practical handbag, that's a Michael Kors Hamilton satchel. And under the coat, I have a, a, a tweed jacket, tweed blazer, vintage from the 80s, just some ripped jeans, a wool turtleneck, and a big scarf that goes really well with the coat. So there's lots of layers here for keeping warm even once we get to the restaurant and take uh, off the outer outerwear, we'll, I'll still be warm because a lot of times, you know, restaurants are cold. So that's outfit number one. My second look is a, is a look I put together for work. I was going for something quite, quite strong, but still very warm and comfortable. So over that look, I've put my black Chesterfield coat and a kind of a power handbag there, black leather with gold chains. And the work outfit itself is a um, double-breasted Brooks Brothers wool sweater with gold buttons over a slim-fitting black turtleneck from Ralph Lauren. And on the bottom is a pair of red high-waisted wide leg trousers. And for shoes in this look, I'm wearing a pair of high-heeled black leather boots. So again, layers, warmth, no matter what the indoor temperature is. And then with that coat on top of it all, you can walk from your car to your office, from the subway to your office, and you will not be cold. You've got the layers and this amazing wool coat. That is a beautiful coat. So that's my look number two. My third look is also a work look, but this is more of a day to evening look. We're still using the black coat. I've got a smaller bag here. This is a, fer a small Ferragamo, no logos or anything. It's black. And under the coat, I've got my black turtleneck and this beautiful embroidered skirt from Macy's. Uh, no, no hose, so I'm going to be a little cool in this outfit. Um, and black patent leather pumps on the bottom. So if you have a function after work, you're all set in this outfit. Now, please forgive the um, clothespin in the back. I bought that skirt a couple years ago and I guess it's a little big for me now so I pinned it at the waist. And, um, but I still wanted to show because I think uh, the idea being that a fancy skirt with plain accessories is a great look for work and it will transition really nicely for evening as well. So I bet you were wondering what I was going to do with that crazy blue coat. So what I did was I put it with my cocktail look and we're doing a tone close to the blue in this navy blue sequin dress. I kept everything else but the shoes really simple. I have some black tights, a velvet clutch, and then these crazy raspberry colored platform pumps. Now you'll notice I'm not doing my walk in from the back hallway there because I, I'm afraid that I'm going to break my ankle on these shoes. I just wanted to show that I was really playing with color in this outfit with the pink shoes and the blue coat and the blue dress. And I really like this look. That dress is so warm, so comfortable, but super festive. So my next look is also a cocktail look. This is a little more sophisticated maybe, but still quite colorful. We've got the blue coat. Maybe this is for like a daytime winter wedding or something as, you know, winter wedding guest look. I've got this hot pink dress underneath the coat. My shades, cause I'm outside. And um, black patent leather pumps. And I like this too, uh, pink. Is a super strong color. The coat's a super strong color, but everything else is really simple. The dress is 
fun and festive. Just right for a wedding guest to wear. And not blend in with the sea of black that you usually see at cocktail parties and weddings. So this is what I put together for date night. And it's just a fun, this could be girls night out or date night. I'm wearing the, the gray herringbone wool coat. And I've got a little tiny black backpack on. And underneath the coat, I have a, yeah, so a backpack. The reason I picked a backpack is so that my hands would be free to be held by my date. And under the coat, I have a wool dress, sleeveless dress with a little bit of pearls and bling at the collar. And under that, a little shirt with pearls on the puffy sleeves. And I'm showing you my sneakers. I've got black sneakers on with a little bit of uh, sayings, some sayings on the laces. Those are from H&M and black tights. So I don't want to be a pain when I'm on a date. I want to be able to walk wherever we need to walk and not be in pain or hold up the party. I just want to be kind of low maintenance, but kind of cuddly and touchable at the same time. So I thought this look fit the bill. So with this look, I'm going to let the little acting job speak for itself. Uh, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm showing you that a long wool coat can save your hiney when you wake up late and you realize you need to be somewhere pronto, like picking somebody up at the airport or you have to run out and grab something from the store before you, you know, finish getting ready for work. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing a gorgeous scarf. This is an Hermes silk scarf in white and gold. I'm tucking my pajamas into a pair of like cute rain boots. Throwing on my long camel coat. Covering up those pajamas. They do peek out as I'm moving around in this look. Throw on my husband's little tweed cap, some shades, grab my phone, card holder, and oh yeah, I can go out like this. Walk of shame. <laughs> so thanks for watching. This was really fun to do and we'll see you next time.